Hey, Caster Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today we're going to be pre painting our cache, but I also have a really great tool that I want to show you that will help you save time and space when you are working on your projects. So let's get started. All right, so and to be completely transparent, uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is going to be Sacker, and Sacker has sent me this product. So um, for me to try out and do this review on, and I really do think this is a great product. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what it is, and then we're gonna go out and actually gonna paint some of the cache so that you can see how these actually work. Now, what this is, and I have one that I've already opened here as well, it's like this little eye, all right? And what you do with this, it gets it up off the ground, so when you're painting, but the really cool thing is, is that if you have multiples of these, when you flip it over, you're, it actually will stack on top of each other. So you can have multiple layers of your birdhouse, your cabinets, your doors, whatever you're, you're painting, and it can be saved that complete space. So that's what I really do like about this product. Now, usually you would probably be using this product on like a door or cabinetry, and you'd have four of these in one spot in it. So you just flip it over. But I wanted to try it with the birdhouse and see how we could do it. And I'm gonna be attempting to use two on each of the panels of the birdhouse. So one will be more on the back and one will be up toward the front. And then I'll just kind of flip them over and we'll stack it over there. Now what's really great about these also is when you're using like a, a, a biscuit bench or a, a, ben, a bench cookie, that's what they're called, they're called bench cookies. You have to paint one side and let that side dry, then you can flip it over not with this product. So this will save me time as I'm painting these uh, these birdhouses. So let me show you what's, what you get in the box. Of course, there's four of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box that I have right here. So what you get, of course, you get an instruction book of how to use it, all right? Then you have some multiple screws because what you're gonna do is actually screw it into the side of your cabinet, the bench, or as or in my case, into the birdhouse. And then you have four of the, the tools, the, uh, the eyes. And so what I'm gonna do now is gonna go ahead and put this together on my birdhouse, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna paint it. So let's get that started. All right, so it is a nice sunny day out here, and I've already got the boards back here set up, and we'll be able to get to see this a little bit easier here in a second. But now I'm just gonna start painting it, and I'm actually, this is gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna do one side as one color, and I'm gonna flip them and do the other side. So I've kind of set it up so if, in case the spray paint drips, it's only gonna drip on the same color that is above it. So kind of doing it a little bit different, but let's go ahead and start getting these painted. All right, so now I've got these painted, both the brown for the outside and kind of blue, kind of a base color for the inside for what I'm gonna be doing on the inside of this cache. Now, I'm not gonna put these together today uh, because I mean, you see me put together, and so we'll do the final finished work in the next video. But let's finish up talking about what my honest thoughts are. I really do like this system. Um, one thing I wish I would have done, and I, this is self-inflicted, having it with the staggering of the two kind of make it a little awkward for me if, when I was doing it. And I can under, completely understand why four of these per panel would really be really great. I have some projects later on in the summer that I gotta do with some doors in my house that these are gonna be awesome on. Um, but for kind of the smaller project, it does work, but there may be a better solution to do it. Maybe just go ahead and keep them even and do it that way. But I wanted to show you how they flipped over as well. But I really do like it. Uh, maybe even maybe a little bit smaller version of it. So you could do four 
of them on, on a smaller project. So that might be another option as well. Um, but I really do like this, and I, go check them out. It's at Sacker, it's smartsacker.com. And I'll have a link down in the description down below for them as well. And thank you, I want to say thank you to them for sending me these out and let me try these out. I really do like these. These are really great and I will be using these quite a bit, but I'm gonna be kind of playing around with them over the next few months and see more of how they might work out even better. But go, go ahead and check them out, smartsacker.com. The links are down in the description. Uh, check that out. There's some really cool other items on there that I think would be kind of cool to use as well. I can see a lot of uses for them. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below. What did you think of this product? Uh, did you like how this paint system would work? Um, and just let me know. Leave a comment down below. I know it's been a little bit different, but I wanted to show you how you could paint on the PVC board because many people have asked, how does it take paint? And it actually takes paint very well. That's a single coat. I mean, we could always go back for more, but I think a single coat, depending on what you want to do, will cover it just well. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this, but don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.